We're talking about elevation. Y'all, I haven't even done my hair. You get what What is wrong with Luna? Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Guys, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Today, I'm going to be doing my first chit chat, get ready with me video, and I'm excited. Even though this is my first time doing this, um, I just feel like I need to get it done. Like, it's my first time doing this. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we, we, we gonna see. We gonna see how this turn out. But anyways, for this get ready with me or chit chat video, I'm basically just going to be showing you like how I do like this natural ponytail look using a drawstring ponytail that I got from the beauty supply store. Um, my makeup and stuff is already done. So we're really just going to focus on the hair. And then while I'm doing my hair, I'm going to be talking to you guys about like where I'm at in my life. Um, you know, just like life updates and stuff like that, what I'm going through or whatnot. And then I'm going to talk about a couple of techniques or a couple of tips, probably would be the better term. A couple of tips on how I, you know, like plan out my goals and stuff. I mean, it is a new year. Happy New Year. It is 2024. So I feel like this would be very beneficial, very beneficial for people who you know don't know where to start and they need to figure out like how do I start planning my goals and I'm going to give you a couple of tips that I myself like to use whenever I'm goal planning and I think they'll be beneficial for you as the new year has came in and you're trying to prepare your goals and plan them out for the year for the month for the week whatever it may be so let's get started what i'm going to do is first of all if you know me you know i do drawstring ponytails like i just think that is the most convenient way to to do hair sometimes like when you don't feel like doing all that you can just do a drawstring ponytail and call it a day for the girlies out there that know how to you know get the bundles and 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 you know do what you do like i commend you but y'all i don't have the patience so i definitely go to the beauty supply store and i get me a drawstring ponytail especially like for work like where i work i gotta do something quick but we're just gonna do like a really cute like natural feather bleh a natural feather curl ponytail that i got from the beauty supply store this is the brand equal feather fe oh it's feather girl thought it was feather curl it's feather girl i don't know if you can really tell but like is that the same color as my hair girl we ain't gonna talk about it do you see the texture of it like it's kind of thick a little bit like kind of like my hair Cause my hair isn't like silky straight. It just has like, it has like a coarse type texture to it. So I feel like this type of hair, like this texture hair is like perfect for me. Cause I just, I like thickness. I like volume. But anyways, I'm just gonna start off by putting my hair in a bun. So while I'm putting my hair in a bun, let me go ahead and update y'all on my life so basically i feel like i'm going through like this transitional phase where i how can i put it like i'm coming i'm becoming like more self-aware of some traits about myself that i really don't like and i feel like i'm going to have to elevate myself or improve those traits before I can become the version of myself that I want to become. 2024, y'all, like I literally want to be a whole complete different woman. 
mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially. Like, I just want to be on a whole nother level. And that's all that I've been thinking about. Oh my goodness, these ads on YouTube really are killing me right now. Because I'm trying to have that music in it. <sighs> I'm trying to use my feet. <laughs> but I've been just thinking about that. Even before 2024 came in, like, I just feel like 2024, like, when the new year hit, that was just my my extra boost to be like, okay, this is a new year. It's time to, to do what we do, which is to make things happen. And so I just really want to completely elevate myself. I want to be a totally different woman. You know, I just want to have a major major i don't want to say glow up but like a major major change why am i doing this so high y'all this is harder than what i thought it was gonna be up in a high bun oh my goodness this is so bad <laughs> but i need to put this down a little bit lower i want to be a complete different person um as far as like when i say like there are traits about myself that i don't like it's a lot we all have our own traits there are traits about us that we don't like and I definitely plan on changing those this year like I feel like I've been a a people pleaser for a while a very long long time and I'm sick of it especially like being people pleasers to people who don't even deserve to be people pleased too because they're not doing anything for you in return. Like you're just pouring into their cups. They're not really pouring back into you at all. I just want to start pouring into people who pour into me instead of like constantly pouring into people who really don't have nothing to give back or they choose to give it to other people. Like I'm sick of it and it's gotta stop because i feel like once you stop doing like a lot of people pleasing you start investing your time into yourself and to people who actually deserve to be poured into because they're investing in you as well like they're pouring into you as well if you're just using me like i'm pouring into you you just using up everything that's in my cup but you're not trying to fill it back up we ain't it, it it's not gonna work i want to be a lot more emotionally intelligent so as far as like being able to control my emotions like i definitely need to work on that i want to be able to control my emotions i want to be more emotionally aware meaning that i need to learn like what triggers my emotions and when i do feel a certain emotion what do I need to do in order to calm myself down? If that makes sense. Like when I get angry, like I cry. <laughs> like when I'm super angry, I cry. And I wanna stop doing that. I wanna be able to take a deep breath if I have to, or if I gotta take five or 10 minutes and just do something to get my mind off of the situation, to calm down, take a few breaths, do whatever I gotta do. Like that's just a prime example of what I'm talking about. Learning to be more, more emotionally aware and more emotionally intelligent. Like once you get your emotions under control, and you don't allow people to have that power over you. Like if they do something, you have the power to just like maintain your emotions and not let somebody control you. That is a powerful thing, a very powerful thing. And your girl, <laughs> we about to work on that. We definitely about to work on that. The latter part of 2023, like it was just horrible. Like I just, I kept losing control of my emotions. Like I was constantly crying. I was always angry. Like I would wake up just in a bad mood, like not happy, angry, upset, sad. I don't want to do that this year at all. But um, yeah, those are just a couple of things, you know, 
that I know for a fact that I really want to focus on. This has caused me a lot of difficulties in life. You get what I'm saying? What is wrong with Luna? But yeah, when you go through that trans that transitional phase, like you you just you become more like self-aware of what's going on in your life and like you realize like there are certain traits about yourself that you need to change in order to keep you out of those type of situations and that's where the unpleasant side of the transitional phase comes in like but it's growth that's 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 what it is you know it's growth it is what it is you live and you learn but i promise myself my 30s will be completely different so that's where i'm at right now i'm focused on my vlogging i'm focused on my short-term content long-term not short-term short form content long form content like i'm just really focused on my goals i don't care for any distractions right now people ask me all the time charlotte why are you single why are you single because if you like if you're not trying to elevate with me like i'm not perfect it's a lot of stuff that i need to get together myself but it's like if you ain't trying to like elevate if you trying to stay here i'm i'm not with it like i'm just not with it <laughs> i just see it as a distraction so it's not gonna work but that's a whole nother story but like I said um that's where I'm at in my life like I'm really just ready to elevate and while we're talking about elevation y'all I haven't even done my hair I literally I literally just stopped doing my hair like that is crazy but I've slicked my hair back into a bun. Now I'm just gonna do my edges. I'm not gonna put that much, um, I'm not gonna put that much edge control on my head. Cause for some reason this edge control, like sometimes it shows up like really bad. And I'm not gonna do no crazy edges or anything. It never turns out good, but you know what? It's a good thing it turned out good for this video. Yes. Oh, I got something in my eye. So, yeah. I always do my edges and stuff. Before. Well, not always, but I tend to want to do my edges before I put my ponytail on. But this is how the ponytail looks in the inside. So, you got two combs. You got one at the top, and then you got one at the bottom and then you got the drawstring part right here so let me comb this out the top comb in the top of your head then the bottom comb towards the bottom of your your bun i meant the, the comb at the top of your bun and then the bottom comb at the bottom of the bun and pull the drawstring while i'm doing that i'm going to talk about like how do i plan like it because since we're talking about transitional phases and and setting goals to like improve ourselves and stuff like that i'm going to tell y'all about how i do goal planning i do it two ways i'm not this if i can find techniques in the future that'd be great i watch some girls on youtube like their their digital planning is off the charts but for right now we're gonna we're gonna keep it very simple and 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 easy because i'm not at that level yet <laughs> there are two ways that i plan my goals and it doesn't have to be for the new year like it can just be like if i get in a in a a funk or a phase in my life where I just feel like I need to reevaluate, then this is what I do. The first option is a vision board. Now, the thing about vision boards, I know some people will 
literally like go out and buy like poster board and get like scissors and and cut pictures and stuff out of um cut pictures and stuff out of magazines or whatnot but i'm a digital girl <laughs> So I like to do my stuff either on a computer, on the phone, whatnot. Like I just think it's more simple and easy for me. But you can always go the traditional route. You can you can get your poster board and cut out pictures or you know places that you want to go. Where's a bobby pin? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. So the drawstring part, like once you pull it as tight as you can get it. You have to wrap this drawstring part around your ponytail until at least you get it to a point where it can't be seen. You don't want how can I see it? You don't want this part like you don't want this part to show. So I try to keep that like I'll wrap it around until this part is like tucked underneath all the hair take this hairpin and then you just tuck it ouch all right ah so cute that's it but yeah like i was saying um digital like i like to do my vision boards digitally so i like to do it on my phone or on a laptop or something like there's this app it's called canva c-a-n-v-a -A. it's called canva and you can literally like create a whole vision board on that app itself and i absolutely love it i let me see if i can pull it up on my computer so i turned the light off so y'all could see the screen a little bit better but yeah you just go to canva and then like right here you just type in vision board and like look at all the templates that come up but yeah like you can customize the template so basically once you choose one that you like you just go on google you find different pictures which is probably more convenient because you know like in a magazine you're only like stuck with so much that you can use or whatever but girl you can google any picture that you want and just import it into the like look at this look at this one like how that is stunning and like you can just import pictures and it it literally does all the hard work for you it is super duper convenient i think this is too bright let me see yeah there we go but yeah it's like super duper convenient um like i said i like to do mines on my phone that way i can set it as my um as my wallpaper so it's just like every time you look at your phone you look at your vision board so it's just like a constant reminder of like where you want to be in life like what type of goals you have and y'all i literally put as much as i can in my vision board like financial um pictures of <laughs> pictures of money or pictures of a high credit score or something or you know like apartments like my idea of what type of apartment that i want or a future house that i want um how i want my body to look like i be adding all that type of stuff in i'll find pictures of of different influencers or content creators or youtubers that you know i just admire like that really really inspire me and i'll add them into my vision board because those our goals like this is what i want to accomplish this is what i'm trying to do in order to elevate myself so i can become you know the best version of myself i'm a visual person anyways so it's just like once i see it i'm like yes that is what i want so that's the number one thing well not number one but like that's one thing that i do and then number two is something a lot more simpler it's just simply getting a journal and like writing down what you plan on doing for the year um i divide it up into five categories i do 
mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and financially. So I write like those different, those five different categories. And then I really just kind of like jot down what's on my mind. Like, what do you plan on accomplishing for the year as far as that, like that specific aspect? So towards the end of the, by the end of the year, like, what do you, what do you hope to accomplish? Like, what do you hope to improve in your spiritual life and your finances? Like, what do you plan on, you know, improving about your body or changing about your body? Like, do you plan on going to the gym? Like, what type of goals do you have? And you can even break it down even more. Like once you get each category, break it up even more. Be like, this is what I want to accomplish yearly. This is what I want to accomplish monthly. This is what I want to accomplish weekly and daily. And when I say daily, it's kind of like things like routines, like your morning routine, your nighttime routine. For example, your physical, like if you want to improve your skin, like things you can do daily. You can have a daily skincare, like a morning routine. You can have a nighttime routine, like stuff like that. That's what I mean as far as like breaking it up. And then yearly, you can be like, well, physical wise, I want to have glass skin or when I go to the gym, I want to gain this amount of pounds or I want to lose this amount of pounds within a year or this is how I want my body to look. I want my body to be more toned by the end of the year. Like it's, it's, it's just a lot you can, you know, write about. And the thing about it, when you write it out, it, it does something to you. I don't know what it is, but it's like when I write things out, it becomes even more clear to me, like more clarity, if that makes sense. Low key, like speaking it into existence, if that makes sense. But yeah, I feel like journaling provides more structure compared to a vision board. So there's some pros to it. Like the vision board is more visually, of course, you look at it, you'd be like, oh, that's what I want. But journaling is more so like organizing and giving like structure to your goals. So I enjoy both of them actually. So it really just depends on what I want to do. You can do both or you can choose one. It's up to you. But me, those are my top two ways that I really like plan my goals out and stuff like that. Like I'm trying to think, is there anything else? So yeah, that was the final thing. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to uh, add in some more, you know, liner under my eyes. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is all that I plan on talking about for this chit chat, get ready with me. Um, like I said, this was my first one. So I hope it wasn't too bad. I hope I wasn't like all over the place with it. If you feel like there's something that I can do different this time, please feel free to drop your comments and i mean drop your comments below please feel free because like i said i'm always looking to grow and to elevate especially when it comes to you know like my youtube channel and my social media and stuff like that but if you got any recommendations or advice please feel free to drop them below i hope you guys enjoyed this and Thank you for watching. Thank you. And also, if you're new here, please, please, please subscribe. Please like, comment, subscribe, share. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Bunches, bunches, bunches. So, okay, y'all. Thank you. See you later. Bye.